So, in this video, I am going to answer the one of the most important topic and the very frequently asked questions basically on my specifically on my Instagram account and mails that how to choose project topic. So, see the answer of this question is not same for every student I guess right. Suppose someone who is beginner for those answer would be different the final year students or those who are having some experience for those answer would be something different right. See suppose in you are in third year or final year final year so basically it is your uh, you know in, in your curriculum that you have to make a project right specifically in final year projects and those projects are very important because obviously now we are going to sit in the placements right after final year or in, in final year right. So, at that time of point what faculty expect from you is that you create something innovative right when you go to the faculty and ask the ideas discuss with the faculties then they just want that you create something innovative or something you know big or uh, not that traditional type of project so not, not a simple project right. Now, maybe uh, in third year or in final year maybe till that till that point you have not worked on any project because in first year on, or in second year there is no such thing that in your curriculum that you have to make a project right. So, if you have not make a project till your third year right then in my opinion I guess you have wasted your two years means you have just <coughs> learned the languages just to pass out the semester not for you, you have not gained any practical knowledge actually and that is that would be a you know drawback for you in final year and now it is time to choose something big project or something innovative you have to uh, make. So, now you are not able to think that how to make a project how to think what project I should I should choose right and now most of the students will purchase the project and they are not going to work on the project they will purchase up the project and they will showcase in your resume right and that is the biggest mistake you are doing now fine. So, please first tip is what please uh, start working on the project as soon as possible do not wait for the college or the faculties to ask you that you have to make a project now right start working on the project from your first year my first tip is this one it is I am telling it is you know based on my experience right. As soon as you learned a language like C language you have learned start making a simple project on that right. So, for th those students for final year students obviously you have to choose something you know big or something innovative something new right. So, that video I am going to upload the you can say the part second of that would be the part second of this video uh, tomorrow I am going to upload that video. In this video I am going to discuss the tips for those students who are beginner in this case right not for the third year or, or final year students right because for those there are many tips to choose the project ideas you have to take care of many things right. So, now we will discuss for the beginners how to choose a project. So, first tip is start working on a project as soon as possible you have learned the language C language maybe in first year or maybe in uh, 12th or 11th class. So, start making a project simple projects right maybe in first year you have learned C start working on uh, start making a project on C. So, first tip is for beginners try to choose a simple project right it is for beginners in starting do not go for a you know complicated project because obviously if you will not able to solve the problem or if you are not able to complete the project then you will get demoralized you will get you know depressed and uh, you will think that I cannot do this. So, start making simple simple projects and before choosing the project maybe how you can choose first step is you have to identify your interest. Suppose if you are interested in playing video games so you can just uh, develop a simple game right any that uh, snake uh, game we used to play in uh, Nokia phones that type of or tic tac toe these kind of games right. Or maybe if you are into, you are interested in developing any app so you can just uh, develop a simple app fine any music app or simple app do not th that does not have many features right 
or if a website then go for the traditional projects maybe some management projects student management library management lab management these kind of projects are you know in bulk so you will get many ideas of those traditional management projects and second tip specially i want to give all the student is that before your third year or final year specifically may not do not reach till final year till third year you have the experience of making one app android app maybe one ios app a, some, a simple game and a simple website at least four projects till then right so don't waste your time first of all c language start working on c language start making a project then c++ make a project on c++ using more features like file handling features right if you haven't learned file handling see here you have to apply active learning that i have discussed in the previous video what is active learning so you can check out that link of that video in the side button right you have to apply here active learning right after file handling features you have learned start implementing the file handling feature in your project start you know you can save your file and you can fetch the data from the files these kind of concepts then oops concept you can apply in your projects start making a project in c++ then obviously you will learn java so start making a project on in java language so first project would be simple then you can increase the level of difficulties of the project right until third year means in first year second year at least try to make four different different type of projects not all same kind of project like management type of project all for one student management one lab management one university management or hospital management no try to explore different different ideas android app as well as game as well as some website right and now in third year now you are in that state that you can think something big now ideas will automatically come into your mind right if you have worked on four projects maybe these are simple projects but now automatically ideas will come into your mind that how to you can make a new project something how you can add some innovative features maybe in some existing projects that is also fine right and next step is now i think in third third semester or fourth semester you have dsa right so you have learned dsa concepts right so try to implement these concept right maybe the tree concepts or maybe uh, dynamic programming uh, problems you can develop these are you can say these are programs but big programs you will gain many things when you will develop these kind of problems fine and if you are a beginner for you the very tough question is now how to select the topic means which on which project i should work right so you can google it out you can ask to someone you can ask ask to your faculty but my recommendation is first of all try to analyze try to analyze the surroundings look around you right maybe there are some social issues in your societies try to develop an app or website for that or maybe from day to day life you can get some ideas that for sometimes it happens that you think that yeah for this there should be an app or for this there should be a website so you can start working on that website or app maybe you can implement simple features in starting right one or two or three features after that you can increase the level you can increase the difficulty level of your project right so main point is what you have to think yourself first of all try to open up your mind rather than just googling everything right if still you are thinking and still you are not getting anything then you can take the help of google or you can take help of any other person right but try to make it a habit first of all you know it should you you should have a critical thinking capability the more you try to think rather than just go to the google and take some ideas and implement that the more you think the more ideas more innovative and creative ideas will come into your mind right at some point of time maybe not in starting right but this happens with everyone have patience maybe after 10, 10 days 15 days or maybe after working one project after working on two projects now you have you are in that state that many ideas innovative ideas will come into your mind that you can implement this one right many new ideas will be in your mind right 
and maybe after uh, you know in third year or final year maybe you can uh, go for some research paper and try to implement those but that that kind of tips i'll discuss in part 2 of this video right so specifically i just want to say for a beginner the you know you can say the brief, brief overview of this lecture is what start working on a project as soon as possible don't wait that for your faculty or uh, you know to ask you that you have to make a project in final year or you have to make a project in third year right and second is try to first project if you are trying to choose your first project that should be simple right it's not like that many of many are saying that simple projects are not going to help you maybe on youtube's many videos are there they'll say that the, you cannot showcase simple projects in your resume and this 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 right but obviously from basics you will start now you have to make your foundation your base right from somewhere you have to start so better to start from a simple project right and in first year second year at least try to make four projects different different type of projects and now you are in a good state when you will reach to third year right and the first project obviously would be according to your interest means try to find out your interest right so that's it for this video and there are many many more videos to come in this series that on um, project series for third year for final year students now which kind of project you can choose what you have to take care why you don't why you shouldn't purchase any project or you know these kind of things right so uh, now i'm going to see you in the next video till then bye bye take care